was the most mentioned because she's not. Nicki Minaj was the most mentioned, not just that. Nicki Minaj is that bitch. Nicki Minaj is a bitch, period. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Barb City. It's Christiane. Excuse my background. My little girl, she's 11 months and she wants to be all up in my business today. But anyway, you guys, this video is about Cardi B's trash performance. Like, and it was not even trash because of her. Like, all I know is it just didn't seem like there was any organization. Check it out. So, you guys, they were literally stepping all over each other, pushing each other, uh, punching each other in the eyes, elbow each other, giving black eyes. Like, you guys, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Dougie B was being too touchy-feely for me, but I do believe he was lit. He was having a good time. He was probably off of one of them beams, allegedly, because it was giving beam energy, okay? That's all I'm going to say, but you guys... Cardi B and her wide steps, like, girl, just step small, like, you, 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 you gangsta walking on me, like, girl, this, like, girl, girl, it was a hot mess, like, that's all I could say, Cardi B looked bomb as hell with her long hair that she copies from Nicki Minaj, <clears throat> I'm just saying, anyway, the outfit is bomb, it looks just like the blue one that she wore in the past when she was pregnant, she looked absolutely stunning on the stage, I ain't even gonna hold you guys, but as far as the actual performance, you guys, it was trash, I don't know what was going on with slapping each other, beating each other up, they wasn't crunk dancing, but it looked like it, I don't know, but Cardi B definitely was not feeling Dougie B just being all up on her, like, why are you touching on her, bumping into to her wrapping your arms around her like back up she's a married woman she is a star like why is you touching all up on her like that like that's i don't know that scene y'all it made me a little uncomfortable but anyway let's get into the next topic which is young miami whatever carisha kanisha whatever from the city girls talking crap again another person talking crap about blue ivy saying i don't think blue ivy is cute um her basically saying she thinks that northwest looks better than blue ivy any day and uh, someone commented basically saying why does blue ivy be looking like that man i'm guessing talking about her dad and young miami responded saying like a mean ass little boy um you guys now i i'm not a huge fan of the city girls they are really cool but you guys come on like this is a black woman and you're putting down a little black little girl like how sad comparing her to a mixed girl you know that happens so often and it's so sad and disgusting and degrading for a lost soul to be doing this on to um lizzo you guys everybody just be on lizzo's top like I'm not a huge fan of Lizzo just because I don't know a lot about her. I don't really listen to her music, but I do, you know, enjoy the things that I do come across about Lizzo. Um, I don't like her trying to all of a sudden um, be a fan of Nicki Minaj because she wants that collab. Like, no, stay over there with Cardi B where you were, okay? Don't try to float over here. Anyway, people are mad because in one of her songs... Um, one of her verse, her verses said, hold my bag, B, hold my bag. Do you see this? I'm about to spaz. As far as I know, she did change the lyrics to this song and she put hold me back instead of, instead of I'm about to spaz. If you're wondering why people were upset, I guess this is a slur to put disabled people down one of them saying hey lizzo please remove the word spaz from your new song because it is a slur against disabled people and he wants people to understand he is a black disabled person and most of the people in the conversation are white disabled people um uh people are saying that they feel like this situation and this conversation needs to be led by none other than black americans that are disabled you guys, I truly don't feel like Lizzo had any, like, I'm pretty sure she did not know what that the word had that type of meaning to it. I'm pretty sure she meant had no um, 
ill intentions and as you guys can see like i said i'm pretty sure that she did change the lyrics to the song so if she did thank you lizzo thank you for being you know you know caring to the disabled community i do have a disabled aunt and so i could totally understand how this will feel if spaz is a word that slurs or or however you say it, it's bad for the disabled people i'm sorry if i'm stumbling over my words but like i said I don't feel like Lizzo had any ill intentions and I'm happy for her taking a bigger step in her personality and changing the lyrics of the song without even addressing the situation. You guys, please like, comment to my video, have a conversation with me, and please subscribe, you guys. Thank you.